I'm comfortable in talking about the fact that I suffered with postnatal depression. It affected every aspect of my life. I went into being a dad as being on the board of an organisation with a career that was going really well in a nice house, nice car, everything that society says that I should have. And I went from that to barely keeping my own job within the space of two months. I used to look at other families, push them, for, they look happy. Like they've not had anything bad, they've had anything great. <laughs> felt like I was the only one. Yeah. Did feel lonely. <laughs> I think when we look at men's gen mental health, as I say, we, we have this idea that we, a lot of our struggles are just ours and that we're dealing with these demons and it's us that's got something wrong. And, and by talking and opening up and, and realising that, that you can go through real traumas with childbirth and, and real difficulties that can have lifelong effects. And by opening up and sharing those experiences and not being alone, you can help each other. While dads are the second biggest group of parents, they're also the, the most underrepresented in perinatal services. The impact on the baby of dad's well-being, um, is, is research shows us, is very high. And for desperately not knowing where to turn, I picked all the negative coping strategies that you could imagine, turn to alcohol, turn to junk food, turn to anything that would kind of give me that moment of release. You no, know, I've met men that feel it's a weakness to cry or to say that they're struggling and actually it's a real strength to be able to be vulnerable to say that. Um, and I think it has a knock on effect. So when you see, um, you know, I know men that are quite manly, but can be vulnerable and say, actually, I am struggling, can inspire other men if it becomes more normal and normalized. You know, just that sort of acknowledgement from your partner of, you know, oh, it's hard for you as well, where it was, you know, and even myself, it felt like I wasn't allowed to say that. You know, how dare you say that? You're the man, you haven't done anything. You know, you've earned some money, so what? So I almost didn't feel allowed to say that. The pressure of me saying, what about me? I was like, you don't say that. You're the man, just do your bit and, and you know, and carry on. What helped for me was, was just friends and um, professionals just going, you know, you are, you are doing a good job. Mm. You are doing okay, you know, what, where you are is really hard and we can see that. But, you know, you're, you're, you're a good person, you're a good dad. Almost like keep going. It's a long journey, but keep going. And, and that just makes you sort of breathe out and go, oh, okay. So maybe in this dark place, I am sort of going the right direction. If people have been watching this and, and it's felt familiar, and it, it sort of rang true to them and they maybe have had those struggles or they've identified it in their partner, then we just want to let them know that there is support out there now.